You're listening to Soap Dirt, the latest in television entertainment news. Hey there, General Hospital fans. It is Belinda from Soap Dirt. We have got to talk about what happened. Is Mason Gatlin dead? Is the lollipop loving psycho done at General Hospital? Has he met his maker? Is he pushing up daisies? Is he in the great beyond? Friday's GH episode offered a rare treat, a good old fashioned surprise delivered by the ABC soap opera. They don't surprise me very often. They did on Friday. So will GH really kill off Mason Gatlin? I know I was cheering for Austin to take out the trash when he put that pillow over his cousin's face. But there's a witness to the crime that could put a stop to it. But Willie, let's talk about Mason's fate on General Hospital. If you haven't already, please reach down, click subscribe so you don't miss any of our GH updates, spoilers, and news. So on Friday, two huge things happened with Monstrous. Mason. First, he demanded more drugs from Dr. TJ Ashford because he's got pain from the two bullet holes healing in his back from where Dante Falconeri shot him, and those were well-deserved bullet holes. Mason was about to throw Ava Jerome off a cliff to her death, even though his boss Cyrus Renault said, let her go. Mason figured out he was going to be dead at Sonny's hands after that, so he thought, hey, one less witness. And when the drugs were kicking in, Mason was high as a kite, and he blabbed some things to his doctor he should not have done. For a while now, TJ Ashford has had this deja vu thing when he hears Mason's voice, when he sees the guy. Aside from the knowledge that he's his colleague Austin's cousin, You know, TJ's been creeped out for weeks. And then Mason, who, you know, was loopy from the drugs, mocked him and confirmed he was one of the men who kidnapped TJ and held him hostage to force his mother, Jordan Ashford, to do Cyrus's bidding. So TJ left furious, went to see his mom, Jordan, and told her he wants Mason prosecuted for kidnapping him. Jordan said, that's a no-go. There is no evidence tying Mason to his kidnapping after all this time. And she said, TJ's just going to have to settle for seeing the guy charged with Ava's kidnapping and attempted murderer. But he's not happy with that. So TJ headed back to GH with a head full of steam. If you recall this week earlier, Cyrus showed up to Mason's room at GH and told him trying to kill Ava when he told him to let her go was not cool. He said, that's your last mistake. Betray me again and you won't live. That's well and good. But Mason seems ready not to follow orders. So, you know, he knows Cyrus wants Austin as his on-call trauma doctor for their hillbilly mafia. But the second big thing with Mason on Friday was he told him he's going to sing like a bird and say that he kidnapped Ava on Austin's orders. He's going to say Austin was the mastermind. He's going to make sure his cousin winds up in a cell with him at Pentonville. If you remember, Mason is eaten up with jealousy over Austin because Austin was smart enough to be a doctor. He's also mad that Ava hates him and slept with Austin. He is just a petty, petty Betty. Really, all Austin needs to do is call Cyrus, tell him about Mason's threat, and Cyrus would probably either scare Mason into submission or kill him. I mean, really, if Mason is destined to do 20 to life for his recent crimes against Ava, he's not going to be an asset for Cyrus anyway, because he's not going to be out and free to do his dirty work. So Austin left the room mad, and then later he came back, he turned off the monitor that tracks his cousin's vitals, put on a pair of gloves, grabbed a pillow, and made it clear he was going to smother his awful cousin. Mason said he didn't have the guts to do it, but Austin seemed to find them, and he started smothering him. And that's when the twist came in. TJ showed up, and he peeked through the blinds, which were not closed enough, it seems. That is sloppy work when you're trying to murder somebody. You always make sure the blinds are completely closed. So really, all TJ saw 
was somebody doing something to Mason and Mason was kind of flopping around. So he could definitely tell a bad thing was happening to the bad guy. The big question for Monday is, will TJ intervene? I mean, he knows Mason won't be punished for kidnapping him. So maybe he'll walk away and let it happen. I mean, in case you don't remember, before being the reputable doctor that he is today, TJ Ashford had a bit of a bad boy streak in him. He got into some minor criminal trouble as a teen, breaking and entering, petty theft, drunkenness, brawling, joyriding in a stolen car, just criminal mischief. And let's be real, TJ is close friends with Sonny Corinthos, a known criminal. In fact, TJ spent a few months living under Sonny's roof when he was furious with Jordan for lying about his father's identity for decades and refused to live with her. So TJ is not exactly a total innocent in the ways of crime and violence and retribution. My hope is that TJ walks away and maybe he lurks around the corner so he can see who smothered Mason. Another question is whether Austin will stop short of killing his cousin. We've not seen Austin do a lot of particular violence until very recently. In fact, if you remember, he's the one who actually saved Nicholas Cassidine's life when he was near death, had been shoved into the closet by Ava after she pummeled him in the head with a candlestick. But I don't think Austin thinks Mason can be controlled at this point because he's got nothing to lose by ratting him out. I'm not sure Austin thinks even Cyrus can control the guy because he ignored his orders and was going to kill Ava anyway. As cruel as it sounds, I am absolutely hoping that Austin finishes the job and kills his horrible cousin. If so, and if TJ is waiting, he may be shocked to see that it's another doctor that killed the guy instead of a minion of Cyrus. There are no spoilers next week for Mason and none for TJ either. But there are a couple of interesting ones for Austin and Ava. Monday, October 30th, spoilers say Austin gets tipsy as he drinks away his problems. So Austin may be boozing because he feels guilty that his cousin provoked him into killing him. Or maybe Austin is boozing because he didn't have the guts to finish the job and knows he could be arrested soon. The week of November 6th, Ava gets some shocking info. Official spoiler. Some people wondered if the info was that Nicholas is alive. I don't think so. Because on Monday, October 30th, Laura catches up with Ava. So I'm certain she's going to tell her she's got firm proof Nicholas was in Geneva at his bank. That's going to be a huge load off Ava's mind because it's going to let her know that the hillbilly mafia has, mafia has no dirt to hold over her head. So that still leaves what shocking info she gets on November 6th. It could be that Austin's arrested, but I don't think so. I mean, you know, they've brought Roger Howarth back for a third character. I don't think they're going to plop him into Pentonville. So the stunner may be that Ava finds out her kidnapper and attempted murderer has met his maker. I mean, that would be another load off her mind. And I will say... Ava's probably not too interested in letting Austin slide back into her sheets. But if he tells her he killed Mason for her, even though he's doing it for himself, if he does indeed follow through, that might be like foreplay to her because we know how bloodthirsty Ava can be. In the end, I'm sure we're going to know on Monday if Austin had the stones to kill his cousin. I mean, Dr. Gatlin Holt is a physician and until very recently, we've not seen any indications he can be violent. But right now, he's kind of unhinged. Remember, this past week, he put a scalpel to Cyrus's throat in his office. He's just, he's had too much. So this whole situation reminds me of a quote by Agatha Christie, the famous British mystery writer. She said, everyone is a potential murderer. In everyone, there arises from time to time the wish to kill, though not the will to kill. So we'll see what happens with Austin. Clearly, he wishes to kill his terrible cousin, Mason, but does he have the will to kill? Will he hold that pillow over his face long enough to take his life? Gosh, I hope so. <laughs> Nathaniel Gray is doing a great job as Mason. He makes my skin crawl. 
he's just such a bad guy. The actor said the other day that he's probably the nicest, if not the second nicest guy on the set. He said Evan Hoffer, who plays Dex Heller, is also extremely nice. And Nathaniel said because his character is so rotten and so intense that he makes sure that as soon as scene is over that he's smiling at everyone and he's always super nice. He said they made him shave his head and they've made him, you know, into this uber villain and he never ever wants anyone to think that he is like that because he gets cast to play mostly villains. It's just that look that he has, that kind of weaselly little look. But apparently he's a real nice, funny guy in real life. So good for him. Uh, but I do hope he's dead meat <laughs> next week. We'll find out on Monday. Let me know your comments. Are there any of you who hope Mason survives this ordeal or is it unanimous? Do we all want this guy to be taking a permanent dirt nap? Click subscribe if you haven't already and definitely click a like. And of course, we'll know more next week. But I, I, I generally don't hope that characters die. But in Mason's case, I think I can make an exception for him. I was kind of like that with Peter August, too. He could go, too. So he's kind of in, in that, that category for me. Villains who deserve a very bad thing to happen. All right, guys, thanks for showing up every day to talk General Hospital with me. I feel like we're friends chatting our favorite soaps over coffee. So come back soon. Let's talk more General Hospital. This has been Belinda from Soap Dirt. Thank you for being a loyal listener. Follow us wherever you get your podcast because you don't want to miss the next episode. Soap Dirt is on all the major podcast platforms, including Apple Podcast, Spotify, iHeartRadio, and more. <laughs>